Saturday, 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 Saturday. It's Saturday. Happy Saturday, y'all. I hope you are having an amazing weekend so far. I hope you have a mimosa in your hand. I hope you just had a waffle or some uh, vegan sausage. And I hope you are having one of the best days of your entire life so far. Is that too much to ask? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're brand new. My name is Erin and I am the Erin Tina at your service. We've got some shady business going on today. We've got one juicy, gripping, wild, provocative story for you today. So let's jump right on into it. I want to know what y'all think of this one. I do. I do. I need to know. I need to know if we're all on the same page. Just buckle up, get ready, okay? Buckle up twice, because we're getting, whew, we're getting wild today. All right, here we go. My 38 female husband, 39 male, hid having lunch with a coworker, 25, and said my food was tasteless. What do I do? I'll tell you one thing, I would be pissed. And guess what I wouldn't do anymore? Make my husband lunch. Also, what is he doing? What is he doing with a 25-year-old, 14 years younger than him, okay? Complaining about his beautiful, wonderful, loving wife's food, who is more appropriately aged, okay? But you know what? Love comes in all shapes, sizes, and ages, so, okay. And this is recent. This was originally posted May 5th of this year. So let's jump right on into it. I want this to be quick. I feel really weird about this and I'm on the verge of asking for a separation. So I've been with my husband for 15 years, married for 11. Amazing relationship, small bumps of course, but nothing like this. I've always made lunch for my husband to take to work. And up until a little over a month ago, that was fine. Middle of March, he said that a new Turkish food stand opened up outside of his office and that he'd been eating lunches there instead because they were good. All right, no problem. So he just completely stopped asking for lunches. I had maybe packed five during this time frame for him, but I'm not even sure he was eating them now. So Thursday, I was at home working and I had a phone call from him. Thought he was calling during his lunch but he had butt dialed me instead. At first, I didn't hear much, just him talking to someone, and I was about to hang up until I heard a woman's voice as well. I wouldn't say I'm a jealous person, but I was a little bit curious, so I muted my call at work and listened. It was just a standard conversation at first. He was praising this woman's cooking a lot, which of course made me realize that he was eating lunch this coworker made. I was a bit peeved, but there's an explanation, sure. Although that went out the effing window when she said, is it better than your wife's? To which he replied, oh yeah, without a doubt. I mean, it's not tasteless for a start, followed by laughing. First of all, what the F is that supposed to mean? 15 years of cooking and now he has a complaint? And not even to me, but some coworker? Also, that absolutely isn't innocent on her end, right? I'm not crazy in thinking that's so weird. Why even bring it up? Anyway, I raised hell, ended the call, sent him a message to not worry about my tasteless cooking anymore and that he can eat from the bin from now on. Good on ya. He's apologized, said that he loves my food, and was just trying to seem cool in front of his coworker. I asked why he lied about where he was getting his lunch from, and he said that initially he did get it from that stand, but the coworker started offering, and he didn't want to tell me because he thought that I would get jealous. Yeah, can you blame me? Um, okay, I am so sorry, but I'm not sorry. This woman has the audacity to bring a married man food multiple times? Are you friggin' kidding me, chick? What? It's one thing if it's like, we had a potluck at work and oh, here's the leftovers. Like you loved the food so much. I'd love to like, I have a ton at home. I can bring you some tomorrow just to be polite. But you're making fun of her wife now and you're asking if it's better than his wife's? That's not innocent. That's disgusting. And she should be equally ashamed of herself. What a little C word. I am telling you, I'm getting, mm. 
I'm getting fired up, you guys. I'm getting fired up. I'm getting fired up. I'm getting fired up. I need to make sure I don't get too nasty and mean because I don't want, you know, YouTube to flag this video, but I am getting really mad. Okay, here we go. It takes time and effort to cook a meal. So I've been airing him since. I'm still pissed, to be honest. I haven't made him lunch or dinner, only for myself, since he said he dislikes it so much. He said today that he's apologized and that I shouldn't keep pushing him, but I'm literally an inch from going to my mom's. I have a suitcase with my clothes packed under my bed already. Nice. Dad thinks it was a stupid comment, but that I should work it out. Mom's on my side, regardless of my decision. Of course the guys are all in agreement. I would be, I would be a little curious what your dad's been doing behind closed doors or out in the open at work during the lunch hour. Give me a friggin' break. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> I'm thinking about leaving for a few days at least, maybe a separation, but I honestly just want some reassurance if that's what's best here. I would be so livid and I would be like, you need to only speak to this woman in a professional manner. No more of these cute little lunch dates together. Most affairs happen in the workplace. Check up on your partners because some little hussy at work is going to try to get them. Okay? <laughs> OOP clarifies on if this is a one-off situation. It's a one-off and so insanely weird coming from him. He's never been that type of person at all. I can't remember a single time he's said something negative about me to myself, never mind to someone else. He hasn't been suspicious with his phone or behavior at all. He comes home on time, and if he's out with friends, I can pretty much confirm it. So I'm not sure. Maybe at most an emotional affair or a crush, but at the moment, I don't think he's cheating. Honestly, I just feel hurt. He can barely cook, so it'd be more of a punishment for me, to be honest. I've been making him cook for himself since this happened, and he's been miserable. This makes it even worse. You can't even take care of yourself, dude. I was just talking to a female friend about this today, about how, like, we joke because we're like, they need us. Like, our partners... <laughs> They really need us. They would not eat if it wasn't for us. Or they'd eat the same thing every meal. Or they would be getting fast food every meal. <laughs> like, I mean, my fiance can cook a few, a couple of things. Not as well as I can. Someone says, you're not overreacting, you're underreacting. Yeah, I would be absolutely livid. Two days later, she posts an update. I'm back. It's not a great update, but you all deserve one for all the advice you gave me on my last post. Oh, no. He confirmed that he'd developed a crush on her. It's an emotional affair, at least, and that's all I really need to hear. I sat him down and had a heart-to-heart -heart with him. Bottom line are these points. If I hadn't have heard what he said, he most likely would have continued flirting with her. He admitted this himself. He liked the attention. She had bad-mouthed me previously, I didn't ask for examples, and he didn't shut it down because he liked it. If your man does not stand up for you, even if a cute girl has something bad to say, who, uh, sounds like you don't know her, the audacity, oh my god, I'd be like, you better stand the up for me. She has actively been pursuing him for over three months now. He hadn't put a stop to it until I caught him. Wow. What a... Li this... Uh, this stuff... There are people out there that, like, like pursuing people that are already spoken for. It's sick. It's disgusting. The Saturday before last, she offered to give him a blowy during lunch. <gasps> he declined. But he told me that he let her feel his muscles over his clothes. I? I divorce right there. Divorce, 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 divorce. What? Just, like, that's so crossing the line. Ew. I, I hate her. I hate this girl. The little young floozy who's trying to steal the married man. Ew. The only reason he said all this effing crap was because I was all sweet and said, I promise, tell me the full truth and we can move on. I'll forgive you. I just want to know. Right. F that. He's packing his bags. This is my house and it will be treated as such. I really don't care anymore. If he's seriously deluded himself into thinking this is going to last, he can crack on. Hell yes. Yes, yes, yes. That's 
oh, I'm getting all excited now because this is about female empowerment. You know what I mean? She has her own house. She has her own job. She can take care of herself and she can feed herself, which is more than what you can say. You crappy husband. I'm genuinely so angry more than anything. I did everything for him. I make double what he does. Oh, <gasps> so I pay all the bills while we used his money for fun stuff. When we met, he had crippling CPTSD and body dysmorphia. I did everything to help him get over it. I dealt with his night terrors every bloody night, despite it ruining my sleep. I reassured him constantly, despite not getting it back. All of it without a bloody complaint. You love someone so much just for them to throw you away so easily. Oh, I'm getting so mad for you. Oh my God, you deserve so much better. You are a friggin' incredible queen and you deserve way better than this POS. Sorry, excuse of a sad, insecure little man. Not even a man. Can't even call him that. Oh my gosh, I'm getting so heated. I need to stop talking. Oh my God, I'm gonna keep talking. Oh my gosh, stop, Aaron, 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 Aaron. I'm so sorry. I'm getting so riled up. Okay. Okay. He cried, had a panic attack that I had to calm him down from, and is now taking his time packing. There's no time to take, buddy. You already took enough. Get out. Okay? He keeps stopping to come into the living room to ask for a hug. I can't even express how disgusted I feel. Like, I physically can't even look at him anymore. There was no need. If he was unhappy, he should have told me. I don't know why the hell he even felt the need to get some validation from this girl, but sure, whatever. Lady, I love you. You need to be the example for every single person who's ever had someone cheat on them. He keeps saying he doesn't know why he did it, but of course he knows. He's just too much of a coward to tell me. Well, whatever. It's done now. He's leaving. His family is back in Germany, so F knows who he's staying with. Probably her, but I'm washing my hands of him. Thank you for all of the advice you gave me on the last post. So many great ideas that I didn't even end up needing because he just downright admitted it all to me. All right. I'm so happy for you. You deserve way better and you're still young. Like you can still find a hot man who treats you well and screw this guy. What a, oh gosh, just, he's, cause he's, he, he might be able to go get with this like young thing, but is she going to want to stick around with him? 25? He's about to be four. Like, please, please. He can't even feed himself. He can't even feed himself. Who really won here? You. I mean, not. Obviously, because it is heartbreaking and sucks. So I hope you're healing, but you're also being a badass, and I respect that. May 9th, so another two days. I can't post another update to the relationship sub, and I didn't know if people would see it if I just made an edit myself on my other post. Some crap went down, but I'm okay. Yesterday night, STBX, I don't know who that is, contacted me. I don't know if that's like a his job where that person where the husband like works a lot of people told me to delete my recent update made of the post it honestly slipped my mind that he could be reading it too <laughs> yeah well guess what if you don't want to be caught cheating maybe you shouldn't cheat he said that he was a bit hurt that i'd think he would go for alimony but that he understands given everything he told me that he wasn't going to but if he needed to sign something to prove it he would i said given everything that happened he can't blame me for being on alert he said that he quit his job and he's thinking about returning to Germany to be with his family there. Additionally, he says he's cut contact with that coworker. He apologized again and wished me the best. Right. And that would have been just fine by itself. But I woke up at about 12.15 a.m. last night needing a wee and I saw my ring doorbell going off. <gasps> I have footage of him just sitting outside my house talking to himself. Literally got there at one-ish knocked and sat down on my front steps and just started talking. I slept through it and only woke up because I needed the bathroom. I literally sat in my closet for ages just watching the camera not knowing what to do until he left at 3 a.m. He's probably going to read this too but I'm somewhere safe. I just can't tell you all for obvious reasons. He sent me a message saying he can't lose me and that the, I'm the love of his life. I told him to f off and blocked him. I really can't say much, but I'm taking action. Absolutely don't worry about that little prick. 
Just a possible last update. It's a bit risky to tell you what's happening now that it's gotten a bit crappier just in case it gets back to him. She also responded to someone's request about the blowy that this little chick at the office offered him. I did end up asking him why he declined her offer for a BJ. I feel like at this point, it's pretty done and dusted. There isn't really a need to keep lying. He said the main thing was that he was just a little bit afraid to cross that line and that he had rationalized to himself that since it hadn't turned physical, it wasn't bad. He didn't really elaborate on why he was afraid, but we were each other's firsts, so maybe that's why. I cringed a bit writing about her feeling up his muscles. It feels a bit gross to type that out for some reason. My STBX is a physically big bloke. He's 6'6 and roughly 270. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. I'm just going to keep that to myself. He was in the military for a while and never got out of that routine. I really don't know what he means when he says his muscles. I mean, it could be any of them. <laughs> Sounds like he's got a lot, okay? My heart does hurt for him in a strange way. I was a bit panicked this morning after I woke up from the night's drama, worried if he had a night terror or something. I know that he betrayed me, but I can't stop hoping that he's okay. I've messaged some of his friends to check up on him just in case. Aww. That, that, now, now I'm sad. Now I'm sad. Okay, because if we, ooh, I mean, ooh, okay. Ah, I'm torn. I'm torn. Because at least the line hadn't been crossed or wasn't crossed. But I think what's concerning is like, he was letting it go too far. It's one thing to like flirt a little bit here and there, but like when you're basically having a lunch date with someone every day, they're making you meals, they're pretending they're your girlfriend essentially, and then they offer you certain favors, like that is crossing a line. And I don't blame this wife for being like, and no one treats me like that. Bye. I don't care if you didn't do it. You got really close. And that is enough for me because you probably would have taken that step if I hadn't found out. And then it would be even worse. Like, who knows what would have happened? Maybe she could have gotten an STD. Who knows? It just sucks that it escalated to that and you didn't cheat. And it is probably some type of insecurity and he just liked the attention. And maybe he never would have done anything. But, oh, uh, man. I'm like, on one hand, I'm like, you go, girl. You go. You did that. You go, Glenn Coco. But on the other hand, I'm like, oh, maybe you guys could have worked it out. But no, I don't know. What would I do? I don't know, guys. What would you do? What would you do? I feel like I would be so angry and so upset and so hurt. But I feel like I could get to the point where I would be forgiving. But I don't know. It would be in my head, like the back of my mind forever and ever and ever. 11 years. 11 years so you could flirt with some chick oh my gosh yikes yikes this is why you just don't talk to anyone of the opposite sex ever <laughs> i'm just kidding oh my gosh what a wild ride i need to like go take cold chat i'm just like whoa oh my golly gee willikers Woo. have you had an experience like this were you tempted did you find out your person was tempted? What did you do? Did you break up? Did you get a divorce? What do you think about the situation? Do you think she reacted appropriately? Or do you think, like, she's overreacting? This is a big one, y'all. This is a toughie. I'm just a little stumped. stumped a -rooney. Anyways, y'all, I'm so glad that you watched this video today. I hope you have an amazing rest of your weekend. And I just appreciate your support. Please leave your comments down below. Subscribe, share, bring a friend, send to a friend, whatever you want to do. And just know that I am here for you. And I will see you in my next video very, very soon. Thanks, y'all, so much. Have a great one. Bye.